Um, we're back now. And uh, what's the first thing I do? I My mask to speak three times at a nat nature path or natural path doctors conference. And we had a group of associates that set up a booth and they got me on the speaker's platform, which is usually a condition for me to go to one of those. And um, it was real interesting. And I share this with you just so you know what you're up against, which is practically nothing. Um, I asked the doctors in the room, a lot of them, how many of you use glutathione in your practice with your patients? Every hand goes up. And I said, okay, how many of you can give me just 10, just 10 of glutathione's uh, 400 functions it performs in the human body? Nobody could do it. I said, can you give me five? Nobody can do it. And like every medical conference I speak at, I'm speaking at one um, in October for 8,000 doctors will be in the meeting I'll be speaking in. They don't know. They don't know. You know what they know? It's an important antioxidant. So they give out IVs at two to $300 a piece, or they put people on liposomal products that barely work, but it's better than nothing. In, in the sense, this is their words, not my words. And a lot of them, a uh, number of them don't give it out because they said, I've never found anything that really makes a difference other than an IV. And most of the people I deal with can't afford $200 uh, a week, a month. Um, and so uh, that was real interesting. I had a chance to do face, I did actually, I spoke four times, uh, three workshops and then one main platform. So I had a chance to go face to face with people. They mobbed our booth. Uh, somebody from another booth came over and said, you know, you're the talk of the convention, not Steve Scott, knew me. Knew me was the talk of all the convention because we had something that makes a difference. And you know what we lead with? When I got there, there was one poster. Oops, let's see if I can get this. You know what? I'm going to unblur my, let's see, unblur, unblur. Okay. Uh, this, this poster, they had made a big poster and they had it in one place in the booth. That won't stop anybody. So we plastered the booth, the back wall, the tables, every, you couldn't walk by it without seeing these posters. It's the before and afters. You know, and I had one person say uh, to me at the booth, they said, uh, are you aware of your competition? I said, we don't have any. And they said, oh, there's a lot of glutathione products here. I said, yeah, but you said competition. They're not our competition. It's like comparing a skateboard to an F-35 supersonic fighter. Now, one man has skateboarded across the United States. It took him 57 days. But an SR-71 does it in 68 minutes. I'd rather go on the SR-71. And that's what our product is. And, and I say, well, how do you know you don't have competition? I say, ask them for the before and afters. See if any of them have a product that can do that. And they go, wow. See, nobody can do this. Skincare companies can't even do this. And so, yes, Ryan's right. I lead with before and afters. I don't carry this poster around everywhere I go, although I'm going to. Uh, I carry them on my phone because my phone is full. Your new me, new you is full of before and afters and uh, testimonies. Uh, another thing, what was the other thing I wanted to share? Oh, of course, Michael's going to tell you about Indonesia. That's exciting. But I just want to share a minute. Everybody on this call is a new me family member. Uh, most of you have been with us for at least a year, many of you anyway. And, you know, of course we have growing pains. You don't go from zero, zero to 160 without having a little bit of difficulty. But you know what? We're fixing everything. It just takes time. Be patient. Uh, one time I had a little button that had the initials for, please be patient. God is not finished with me yet. And uh, he's not finished with Numi either. We're just getting going. And uh, the neat thing is about going to a convention like that and being in a booth with people that are in our booth. Listen, listen to who we had. Frontline, 79-year-old man. Steve Scott, I was the youngest man in the booth. Uh, I was 75. Uh, a woman that was 79. Another man that was 79. Man, these are the ones 
you want, right? Not really, not if you're going to be talking to doctors, but we did. And we signed, they signed up so many people. In fact, people that didn't sign up are going to be on a call next week. 40 doctors that didn't sign up because they didn't have time to stop at the booth after the presentation. They're going to be on a conference call. What we have, nobody has. And let me just tell you, it's going to get better. I know what's coming. Uh, a 79-year-old woman, sweet associate from Northern California named Naomi. I hope you all get to meet her. What a, what a wonderful, sweet woman. Oh, my goodness. And she comes to me. And the first thing she says, I have a waiting list of people for the woman's product. And they really are anxious. They want to get it as soon as possible. I have a call with Dr. Hershider this last week. She's the one that did the double-blind placebo-based clinicals. She called her upline and said, when are we getting the product? My patients are driving me crazy. We give them a bottle that lasts a month, it changes their lives, and then we take it away. You can't do this. You got to get it to us. Well, folks, it's coming very, very soon. I'm happy to say. Ryan will tell you the date very soon, but it's coming. It's coming this year. It's coming uh, not, not far away at all. I'm so excited. But I've got to tell you, I think the woman's product within a, within a few months will be out selling all of our other products combined because you don't have to explain it. All you have to do is say, try it and watch what happens. They try it. It happens. Now, we're going to have a testimonial reel for you before you launch. Uh, I, I may be flying to South Carolina to get some of the people who participated in the uh, in the double blind clinicals and get some some uh, footage with uh, sweet Dr. Heishetter, who's on our board. And uh, uh, so you're going to have everything you need. But please, no matter what, do not take your eye off glutathione. We're saving lives in 65 countries. We're changing lives in 65 countries. We're bringing hope where there was no hope. Man, the, the one of the men in the booth that was 79, he, I had never heard his testimony. I've talked to him on the phone and he shared with me what happened. I got to tell you, I don't think he would be alive today. And he's a very wonderful man. I mean, how many 79-year-olds come out of retirement? This guy's a genius, by the way. He's a PhD with two, two master's degrees. Uh, he used to um, audit banks for the federal government. Oh, my gosh. Uh, anyway, and he, what's he doing? He's in a booth telling people about Numi because it changed his life. Uh, if, if you were to ask me, how do you start a conversation? I listen. First place to start. I listen. People always reveal if you listen long enough what they're missing. Oh, you know what? I'm starting to feel my age. I feel so tired. Man, there are times where I don't even want to get out of bed. Bingo. Okay. I understand. You know, there's a product that someone shared with me, and I was having that same problem. You know, or somebody says, Oh, I've got a race coming up, or I got it. Tomorrow's my gym day and I got to go lift weights. Excuse me. Every one of those, you just listen. And it's not that you listen to manipulate. These people express their genuine needs, their genuine concerns, their cares. Um, I gave it to one woman for one situation and she bought a bottle, but I went and gave her a bottle because she had such a special situation with a family member and i didn't want her to run out of product she gets home and she texts me the next day and all she had was the blue bottle she didn't even have the white bottle she says i can't even believe the difference in my scars i can't believe what i'm seeing in 24 hours you know, we make a difference. We listen. We ask, what if? If there was something you could do that could make a big difference, would you do it? And then zip it. You wait for people to answer the question. Um, 
we are exploding, right? I think by the end of 2024, we're going to have over a half a million NUMI family members. There won't be a continent that you can go to that you won't be able to dial up a friend. You know, and somebody says, you're coming here? Can we have a meeting? I'll get some people in my home or my church or my, can we have a meeting while you're here since you're new me too? Yeah, you can do that. So it's a growing family. Uh, most important thing about listening, I mean, about communication is listening. Number one, listen, 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 practice listening. When you hear something, don't come up with an answer right away. Ask more questions. You know, I I empathize. I, I understand, man. I don't like working out. How often do you work out every day? Really, what's your workout like? Well, I run, I stretch, um, I do some resistance training or lift some weights, <clears throat> and uh, I don't have a personal trainer, or I do have a personal trainer. Doesn't matter. Listen. Do you know the greatest way you can honor people is listening? And right now, if my wife were on this call, she said, Steve, are you hearing what you're saying? Yes, Shannon, I am hearing. No, I listen a lot better now than I used to. We, we have communication now pretty much down pat. Hey, how would you like a freebie on how to keep arguments from escalating? Should I throw that in right now? Nod your heads, the ladies that I'm looking at. Okay. Sure. Okay, this is uh, for free. Um, almost all arguments escalate. They start arguing about a particular thing. And before you know it, they go into the limbic area of their brain and now it's exploded. It's a volcano and it's not talking about what was originally. You never do this. You always do that. You always say that. You always try to do that. Okay, and so on. A therapist gave Shannon and I maybe three years ago, gave us a phrase that we use with each other, mainly she uses it with me, and it has stopped at least 99% of our arguments from escalating. It used to be probably 99% that did escalate. And the phrase is this, this is worth writing down if you can remember, I want you to listen to understand. I don't want, um, you're not saying you want them to understand. You're giving the purpose for their listening. I want you to listen. Just listen to understand. You know what that means to a man? It means you don't have to solve my problem. You don't have to come up with a rationalization. You don't have to come up with an, an excuse. You don't have to come up with a defense. You don't have to come up with a solution, any of that. It puts, it's like a military guy coming into a room and all the room pops to attention and, and somebody said, and the top honcho says, at ease. Man, I remember in ROTC, they'd say at ease and it's like, okay, now I can listen. That's what that phrase does. It puts a man primarily at ease. So you tell him from now on, I know you always want to solve my problems, but 99% of the time, I don't want you to solve them. I just want you to listen, to understand. 90, I, I, this is an attack on you. When I say something you've done that's hurt my feelings, I don't want you to explain why you what you were thinking. I just want you to listen to understand. That one phrase has kept our arguments from escalating. And it had reached a point where Shannon and I really, really had some really bad arguments, a lot of them. And we don't have them anymore because I've learned to listen to understand. I and when- think, Oh, I was gonna yeah, say, Dad, if you want me to show the nail video, I have it queued up. Oh, let's watch the nail video. Perfect, good. <laughs> it's it, it's only a one minute video, but it, it, cap, it uh, captures this perfectly. It does. It's just, there's all this pressure, you know? And sometimes it feels like it's right up on me and I can just feel it, like literally feel it in my head and it's relentless and I don't know if it's gonna stop. I mean, that's the thing that scares me the most is that I don't know if it's ever gonna stop. Yeah. Well, 
You do have a nail in your head. It is not about the nail. Are you sure? Because, I mean, I'll bet if we got that out of there... Stop gonna... trying to fix it. No, I'm not trying to fix it. I'm just pointing out that maybe the nail is causing... You always do this. You always try to fix things when what I really need is for you to just listen. No, see, I don't think that is what you need. I think what you need is to get the nail See, out. you're not even listening now. Okay, fine. I will listen. Fine. It's just... Sometimes it's like there's this achy... I don't know what it is. And I'm not sleeping very well at all. And all my sweaters are snagged. I mean, all of them. That sounds really hard. It is. Thank you. Ow! Oh, come on! Ow. If you would just don't try to see things my way. There you go. You're muted, Dad. That's our nature. That's the nature of our man. And because we have a lot of lions on this call, I know many of you, Phoebe Wallace and so many lions, that our nature as a man or a lion is to solve problems. So before a person can even finish a sentence, we're real quick thinking of how to solve it. Listen to understand puts us at ease. Okay, so step number one in reaching people with Numi, listening, asking questions. Um, after they're, they've shared, after they've shared their heart or mind with you. I, Hallie and I were on buses. We were on tour buses. And we got to know those people. I was really proud of Hallie because she came back from her mission and she really understands the importance of valuing other people and listening. In fact, when I would interrupt somebody, she'd go, Dad, you're interrupting. And I wasn't offended by that. I was so grateful that she was sensitive to their feelings. And, uh, but it was, you know, there were a lot of people that heard about Numi one at a time. In fact, two ladies that when they get back home in September, uh, where do they live? They're, oh, I can't remember now. Uh, they weren't, Amer oh, Australia. They were in Australia. So they're going to call and they want to join NUMI and I'll be passing them along when I hear to one of our NUMI family members in Australia, one or two of you, if they want to do it. One woman's going to be really good. They're about uh, 33 years old, but we listened. And then even Hallie, who hates me to talk about business sometimes and say, Dad, show them your pictures. Show on the phone. That's what it does. I show them what it does. If they're into working out, I'll say, you know, we have a weightlifter. It's really cool. He was he was the strength and conditioning coach for a, an American football team, professional football team. And he set the world record at 49. And I literally use my fingers like that. He set the world record at 49 in 2008. And then in 2018, he was down here. He was going down, down, down. He said, Steve, I'm really discouraged. And don't you know it? He got on our product. Next six months, he went to 915. As a 59-year-old, he was 49 here. Then six months later, at a 60-year-old, a 1,050-pound bench press. And then two years later, at 62, 1,129 pounds, 300 pounds more than he lifted in his prime. Why? How can that be? Two things. It's called oxidative stress, limiting it, reducing oxidative stress, and rapid increasing, accelerating recovery. And we found out from some doctors in Spain, and you can write this down, who did a study on our product Nothing to do with us. They did it for themselves because they're sports medicine doctors with 19 clinics, professional athletes, world-class amateur athletes, and they wanted to know. They found out that with even conditioned athletes, we delayed the onset of lactic acidosis by 16.7%. 
that gives a runner two extra kilometers before their body even starts to make lactic acid. That means less damage to the cells and tissues by the lactic acid. That means an accelerated recovery for everybody. So if you're working out, you know, and I say this to people, you know the value of an, a rapid recovery. Our athletes, whether they're world-class or everyday people, wake up the next morning and they're not sore. They're not stiff. They can't believe it. They think I didn't work out hard enough. No, they worked out plenty hard. It's just they are recovering so much faster. See, so I, I, I turn it. I don't go into a restaurant or a bus or a group thinking, how can I get that person to hear me about Numi? You know what I've been doing my whole life? Gary Smalley taught me how to communicate. My other best friend and Gary's other best friend, Jim Shaughnessy, taught me how to love people. I listen. I walk past a couple with a baby, and I've done this hundreds and hundreds of times, and you can tell they only have one baby. And I'll say, is that your first? And 99% of the time they say yes. And I have a simple question. Did you ever know you could love that much? Zip the lip and listen. And it's always, oh, no, I had no idea. It's so different. I mean, we have our our uh, quality control woman here, and uh, she's had her first baby. I, th I don't know how old the baby is. Now. I think it's four or five months. And she said, Steve, I understand what you're saying. My husband and I, we love each other, but man, we never knew what it was like. Ryan's discovered that with his first baby. And um, so that opens conversations. Do I always take it somewhere? No, don't go into a conversation with an agenda. Go in a conversation to listen, to honor, and to value. Okay, the people want to feel valued. None of you on this call want to feel manipulated or sold. You don't want somebody telling you about some glutathione patch or, or this new way to lose weight, you know, unless, unless you want to hear about it. And, um, and now there's a principle that we teach in your back office in the communication section of the mentored strategies called salting. The salting is, for example, I know a man who thought he was on his way out as a weightlifter. Uh, he set the world record, and 10 years later, he's way under, and he was real discouraged. And then he got this one product, and do you know, he went 300 pounds past what he had done 10 years earlier in the bench press, set new world records, all because of one product that changed his recovery. And then don't even tell him. What's the product? Well, it, it's it's the least product you'd ever expect, but it's a, a product that, that lowers oxidative stress, which lowers inflammation in the cell, and it increases athletic performance and cuts athletic recovery. Simple things. Or even better, let me send you a video. And you send them the video from the app. Don't be the scientist. Now, if you have a testimony of working out, Rhonda Dasher and Sherry, they work out every day. So they can easily say from their own testimony. They can talk about their kids. Rhonda's son was a weightlifter. He tried it right before lifting weight, called mom, didn't even, mom, it doesn't work. She said, when did you swish? He said, this morning when I woke up, when did you work out? He said, this afternoon after work at five. She said, of course it didn't work. You got to swish five minutes before the workout. He did it the next day. He said, mom, I lifted X, which was almost 10% more than he had ever lifted. And he said, I could have done more, but I was afraid I was going to hurt myself. It was so easy. So get your own testimony. You can share that. But those videos in the apps, we have them for just about everything. YouTube, people, YouTube has critical, uh, has credibility. Go to YouTube, show them the airplane pilot. I tell flight attendants, do you know at this altitude, you get 10 times as much solar radiation as you get on the ground? 
but you get 30 times as much cosmic radiation, day or night. The cosmic radiation is coming into the plane at 35,000 feet. You're getting bombarded. You, your cells need protection. Most of them could care less about that. It's about energy and being alert. But you know what gets them? Before and afters. They see that and what the heck is that stuff? Oh, it's, you know what? It's so easy. Nothing else can duplicate it. It's a big breakthrough. And um, so anyway, that gives you a little bit. I want to tell you how grateful I am to be back. Sorry, we've had to be on taped versions of the uh, Thursday night call. Tomorrow will be our first live call in a few weeks. And I can't wait to do that, get into the science. I'm just telling you, doctors don't know. People say, I use a patch or I already use a liposomal. You say, you know what? At least you're trying. Congratulations. What do you mean, at least I'm trying? Well, you're trying. I, I respect that. Unfortunately, it's not a really efficient way. It's kind of like uh, what you're doing is like pedaling a bicycle uphill in third gear or high gear. And you don't get very far. You got to shift down. And there's a product on the market that uses a new technology and it blows. It's even, and here's what I love to say. It even blows away IV glutathione. Do you know, we have a surgeon in Miami, Florida. Here's a story. Maybe someday you'll relate it. A plastic surgeon. He's performing surgery 14 hours a day, five days a week. He was on three glutathione IVs a week. $900 a week was his glutathione bill. And then a friend of ours, one of our doctors, introduces him to Swish. And he decides to go cold turkey. He's going to get off the IV and just do Swish and see how it works. He's expecting his mental alertness and, and stamina to go down. He's expecting his physical stamina to go down. And instead, they went up. And any time during the 14 hours, if he felt himself starting to trail off a little bit, he'd swish again and be right back where he was. He never again had an IV. You know what he did? He had 42 doctors come to his office and ask me to come speak to him. You don't do that unless it's life-changing. Now, there's a story that you can say, we know that we have, you can say, because he's new me member, he's new me family. We have a new me member, a doctor in Florida who is doing plastic surgery 14 hours a day. To get through that mentally and physical stamina wise, he needed three glutathione IVs a week. Nothing else helped. Nothing, not vitamin E, nothing. And guess what? Even though it was $900, he did it for a couple of years. When he found out about our product, he tried our product. He never again went back to IVs. And now you know the reason. You can swish anytime. You start to get a little fatigue, whoop, come right back up. Start to lose mental focus, whoop, come right back up. You can do that. I use my hands. You can use your hands. But you got to listen. Don't be a salesman. I've had... One time I got introduced to a big audience and they said, Steve Scott's because of my TV. They said he's the world's best salesman. He sold over 2 million life insurance policies with two minutes of communication. Who can do that? He could sell anything. I got up to the group and I said, I'm sorry, I'm not a salesman. I just tell the truth. I just tell the truth. I don't talk about anything. I talk about breakthrough products, things that, that are novel, that are unique, that can really help people. People need my products. And I listen for their needs. And then I share. And either they say yes or no. And it doesn't matter to me. I always go with the attitude I'm offering. People say, how do you get over your fear of public speaking? I was telling one of my sons this the other day. Uh, you don't uh, go thinking, oh, I hope they like me. I hope they like my presentation. No, you are offering a gift. Do you ever get worried at Christmas time? Oh, I hope somebody likes my gift. No, you're excited. I can't wait to open that one. Open that one. I know you're going to love it. Well, that's what we do. 
we're sharing a gift. That's all we do. We just share a gift. And we get to share it with people we love and we're making a difference, making a difference. I got word on the Indonesian from people. Michael was there. Michael himself told me, Steve, you're gonna love them. They're like the people in the Philippines. They're humble, they're kind, they're gentle, they're enthusiastic, they have integrity, they're honest. Just exactly the kind of people I wanna be in business with. And all of you on this call, you're here because you feel the same way. Ryan, I see you there. Do you wanna, you wanna say anything else, bud? No, nope, we're good. We'll pass it off to Michael. Okay, good.